hey guys, how are you? Do you like my new hair? You know, my hair has grown so long in the quarantine that it looks like this now. And it's pink. What do you think? Do you like it or no? I look horrible, right? I don't know what to do. I need to cut my hair and paint it back to black. Anyway, today I am going to read a book called Do Not Lick This Book. What is lick? That's lick. Why would you lick a book? Hmm. Well, sometimes we don't realize the stuff we do, and the stuff we do has consequences, and our hands can be dirty, and the things we put in our mouth are dirty. So I'm going to read a book about germs. So that's why you guys need to wash your hands and brush your teeth. And I think you will really like this book. So parents, it's a little bit of a complicated book. So if you can help me out by explaining it to them and reading with them, that would be great. Bye, guys. Do not lick this book by Dan Ben Barrick and Julian Frost. It's full of germs. Min is a microbe. She is very, very small. In fact, so small that you need to look through a microscope to see her, or you can simply open this book and take Min on an adventure to amazing places she's never seen before, like the icy glaciers of your tooth or the twisted tangled jungle of your shirt. The perfect book for anyone who wants to take a closer look at the world. This is Min. Min is a microbe. She is very, very small. Can you see this dot? Microbes are so small that 3,422,167 of them could fit on it. In the air, in your intestines, in your socks, microbes live everywhere. On trumpets, at the bottom of the sea, in Antarctica, underground, on elephant's knees, in your breakfast, inside the fish, on top of Mount Everest, up Santa's nose, and over here. Min lives in this book, and if you could look really, really closely, you would see her. She's here. I'm bored. This is a photo of paper, really, really close up. Let's take a Min on an adventure. See the circle on the next page? That's where Min lives. Touch the circle with your finger to pick her up. So touch this circle. Min is now on your finger. Where shall we take Min first? Take me to your teeth. Okay, let's go. Open your mouth, guys, and carefully touch your front teeth with your finger. Now, let's look really, really closely. This is a photo of your teeth really, really close up. What a strange place teeth are when you look really, really closely. No wonder it's a good idea to brush your teeth. It's time for Min's next adventure. Touch your teeth to pick Min up. Looks like you've picked up Ray as well. Where shall we go next? Would you like to visit a shirt, Ray? Shirt? All right, let's explore your shirt, guys. Put your finger on your shirt to send Min and Ray on a new adventure. Now, let's look really, really, really closely at your shirt. This is a photo of your shirt. It's fabric, really, really close up. What a strange place shirts are when you look at them really, really closely. No wonder they need washing. Now it's time for Min and Ray's next adventure. Touch your shirt to pick them up. Dennis has come along for the ride. We have time for one more trip. Where shall we go? 
Shall we visit a belly button, Dennis? What's a belly button? Okay, up we go. Put your finger in your belly button and wiggle it about. Now, let's take a really, really close look. This is a photo of skin. What a strange place skin is when you look really, really closely. No wonder it gets itchy. Put your finger back in your belly button to pick Min and her friends. So this is a picture of skin, guys, okay? This is a picture of your hands, for example. This is what your skin looks like. That was fun. Now, I would like to go back to my book, please. Can we come? What's a book? Let's put Min and her friends back in this book. Here's a good spot. There's plenty of room for everyone. Where will you take Min tomorrow? So guys, this is what microbes really look like. Microbes are so small that nobody knew that they even existed until microscopes were invented. They come in all sorts of shapes, but they don't have faces, feet, hands, or they can't really talk. Hmm, sorry, Min. So these are the kinds of things that we need to wash our hands for. These things stick on our hands, on our clothing, on our mouths. That's why we need to cough when we, I mean, that's why we need to cover our mouth when we cough or when we sneeze. Wow! Did you see all the germs that can be in your hands and in your mouth and in a piece of paper and in a book? So many germs, especially right now. We need to be thinking about being clean. So remember, guys, clean your hands, okay? Don't put them in your mouth. Don't touch everything. And if you do, always put hand sanitizer and soap. I hope you like the book, and I hope you like my new hair. I will see you soon. I miss you. Mwah.